Elgato released a update to allow VSTs to be used with their Wavelink software. It was released under beta drivers or firmware for the last two months or so, and I've been using them and I'm really happy with this setup because now it allows me to have uh, a noise gate, a limiter, compression, all within my Wavelink software, which is something that a lot of people have been asking for since day one. And it's another reason that Elgato is now separating themselves from other competitions with this added into their Wavelink software. So as of yesterday, they have released those new drivers to the public. They are no longer beta and they're really amazing because some of the options that you have on the VSTs are almost just about free. So let's take a look and see what is available. So when we talk about the VSTs, these are the ones that are being recommended by Elgato themselves. So um, if we take a look here, they have uh, different equalizers that are available. Um, you can go in and download them from Reaper themselves and go through and install any of these things. It is gonna make a huge difference with your audio. You can have a, a noise gate, a de-esser, um, compression, uh, noise suppression. So take a look at all these things. I will link this to my description and you can see what's available for you to use. But I'm gonna go over each step basically of what we're gonna need to do. And um, since I updated out of the beta drivers, I'm gonna have to update my software. So let's go take a look. When you come up over to the right side, you're going to hit the little clog and then you're gonna see a new little effect here, audio effects. Okay, so it would be general and audio effects. And then you have to choose VSTs or you're gonna scan for VST3s. Now I happen to have VST3s. Let's scan for those VST3s now. We have VST audio plugins and it's showing a new 48 plugins that I have. So we'll hit OK and see what I have here. OK, so I have everything that I need in here. So we know that everything was scanned. That's how easy it works. And then we will go over to our mic. And when we go into our mic, we can see there's no audio effects in our mic right now. So we hit this little plus button and then here is everything that we need to add. Um, the first thing I want to add is my NS1 noise reduction. So we'll hit the NS1 and I'll give it a little bit of a quick setting. And then we'll just go from here. So basically when I X this off, it's added now. So once that icon turns green, we know it's active and ready to use. And if you wanted to add another one, you could just go right in here, hit the plus, and then pick something else like an equalizer or a de-esser or anything your heart desires and add that right in. And you could start playing with all the settings that you want. But just note that hearing those settings with the Wavelink when you're monitoring right out of the Wave XLR is tough to tell the difference in the settings that you change. So the easiest way to listen to those settings is either go into something like a free program like Audacity and listen to yourself or just record some video and hear the difference in the recording. Um, there is a link that I will put in uh, where Harris Heller does a great video and showing you guys a little bit more in detail of how to set up um, some extra things on your Wave XLR. But I thought that since this Wave XLR first came out, um, it was something that I had bought right away and have invested some time into this. And when the beta drivers came out uh, right away, I was testing everything and super impressed with it. And I'm just so happy that 
they are out for everybody to use. And another reason why this Wave XLR and the Wavelink software is so useful. So I hope this can be um, a little bit of information that you can use and I will catch you on the next video.